again guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to attempt to show you how to put on false lashes. I'm not an expert at it. I've gotten a lot better at it since I started doing it and I've learned a lot of ways to do it on YouTube, but I'm still, I still don't try to put them on when I'm in a hurry to get out the door. We'll just put it that way. Um, I just wanted to show you guys my new filming background. If y'all can see that. Isn't it pretty? I love it. So anyway, first I wanted to start out, and by the way, my eye look today is kind of loco. I decided to play around with some colors that I don't use very often, and the color on my lid is Razzleberry, by, I think it's Razzleberry, by Makeup Geek. Um, it looks like that. It is a gorgeous color. I just need to figure out better ways to use it. When you're using a red, any kind of red color on your eyes, you have to be careful that it doesn't look like you got punched in the face. So anyway, um, it's quite interesting. And as you can see here, uh, there's a perfect wing on this eye. And then on this eye, not so much. I had to use the makeup wipe like five times on this one and redo it like five times to even get it to look halfway decent. So the struggle is real, kids. I know. Anyway, I did a thick liner because when you do false lashes, you typically want to have a nice thick black line on, on your top lid, especially if the band of the lashes is black or thick. Um, let me show you guys some of the lashes that I have. This is the most expensive kind of lashes that I own. They're called velour lashes. They're mink. And no little mink animals are harmed during the making of these, just to let you know. Now, they do have a black band. I'll show you what that looks like. This is the style You Complete Me. And I've used these twice and the verdict is still, or the verdict, the jury is still out on them because they're supposed to be able to be reused about 25 times because they're a lot more sturdy than um, your lashes that you'd buy at the, at the drugstore. But I've heard really good things about them and I've also heard really bad things about them that when you pull off the glue from the band afterwards, uh, after you take them off, that lashes start, pieces of the lash just start falling out and falling apart. So I have yet to experience that. Um, I'll get back to you guys on it though, after I've worn them a few times. So I'm gonna use the velours today in my tutorial, but I'm gonna show you a couple others first. Now NYX, I saw these at Ulta. I got these at Ulta. These are NYX. I don't think I paid more than three or four dollars for each pair. And I have worn this pair. They are fantastic, you guys. I They were on kind of a limited edition stand, like a little in stand um, at Ulta. So I don't know if they're limited edition or not. This version's called Flirt, as you can see there. I hope they're not, because they're really nice lashes for a really inexpensive price. So hopefully that won't just be limited edition and NYX will actually come out with those. I also have, these are little partial lashes. I like doing these when I'm in a hurry or if I feel like getting a little bit glammed up for something like work. I don't wear falsies to work like ever, but on the occasion that I will, it's usually just one of these on the outer corner um, or a set of these on the outer corner. And those are by Ardell. You can get them at Walgreens, Ulta, any of your drugstores. And then I also have, I got a pair of Katy, Katy Perry lashes by I lure London. These are really pretty and wispy and they're pretty long, but I'm excited to try them and I'm not going to try them tonight, but I just wanted to show you, um, show you guys that there's quite a variety of lashes out there and you really just have to play around and see which ones work best for you, which ones are easiest to apply. Now, something that I learned about myself actually with these velour lashes is that I have to trim them to about two thirds to three quarters of my eye size. I can't have long lashes or lashes in my inner corner that touch here because not only does it drive me insane, but I feel like no matter how hard I try, that corner always lifts and I'll be out. Even if I bring my glue with me, I brought lash glue and tweezers out with me. Like New Year's Eve, I think I wore these and I, I kept battling with that inner corner. It was driving me crazy. So. The next time I decided, or next time I wore them, I decided to try trimming them a little bit more, and it actually helped a lot. So, um, let's see. 
So what you want to do when you first, first get a pair of lashes is you want to, when you're taking them out of the package and they're glued to, to the package like this, I've heard that the best way to, to take them off is actually to pull down, shoot, I'm sorry you guys, they're not glued, um, but I'm trying to show you how to pull them off. Kind of pull down like this instead of pulling from one end and, and uh, yanking them off that way. Because then um, sometimes if you do, if you pull from one end and you pull too hard, you can actually kind of move some of the uh, some of the lashes and make them uneven or you can pull some lashes out um, but anyway that's the way um, they recommend you do that and then you want to trim them like I said to your eye shape eye shape to your eye size usually what I'll do is just set the eyelash right on my right on my natural eyelash get them where I want them to be um, where I want them to be <laughs> and then based on that I'll trim them so like I said for me I trim them to be about two-thirds to three-quarters of the width of my eye that's a totally totally personal you do whatever you want to do whatever works best for you the lash glue that I use is called duo it's pretty common you guys have probably seen it I happen to have the black the kind that dries black um, they also have a kind that dries clear I believe there's some other kinds of lash glue out there that are nice that have like little brushes on them. That would be nice if Duo, if Duo would do that. But I'm gonna zoom you guys in and show you how I do this. So one of the most important things to do when, or to make sure that you do when you're applying false lashes is that when you put the glue on the lashes, you want to let the glue sit and you want it to get tacky for I'd say anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. 45 to 60 seconds is probably closer to what I typically do. You want them to be tacky because when you set them down and then, I, I'll show you how I do it, but I set them down and then I go to one side, press that side in, and then I go to the other side and press that side in. You want it to be tacky. You don't want it to still be completely liquid and wet because it won't stay. And that's really annoying. And it'll get everywhere. <laughs> It's just annoying. So make sure that you, when you put the lash glue on, so here's the lash, here's the glue. My camera is really having a hard time focusing on this lash and not my face. So go ahead and put a thin, thin strip of the glue on the band. My apologies, you guys, if you can't see this, if it keeps focusing weird. But put a thin strip on the band like that. You see it? Okay. Now, as I said, you take about 45 to 60 seconds to let it set and, and get tacky. <laughs> Okay, so it's been about a minute, and I'm going to go ahead and pop this sucker on to my eyelashes. Another thing that helps a lot is get a small mirror and put the mirror below your chin and look down into the mirror as you're applying. I'm going to try really hard to get this in the picture, guys. So I'm looking down in the mirror. Focus. There we go. So you want to make sure it's set. So what I do is I place the middle of the lash where I want it, okay? The middle of it is right where I want it, if you can see that. Okay, then I go back in with my tweezers. I use tweezers, obviously. Um, and I grab the outer corner and I place that. Okay, see why it's important for it to be tacky? Because then it actually stays where you put it. Then I go back in and I do the inner corner the same way. Grab that inner corner. Try not to grab your natural lashes because that does not help. Sorry if you can't see that. I'm trying. 
Grab that inner corner and put it where you want it and place it down. Okay. Um, what I also like to do is take the back of the tweezers and kind of push down where the band is. Oh, sorry. Push down where that band is. Some people like to squeeze their natural lashes together with the false lashes. I find that every time I do that, my finger gets stuck to the glue on, and it pulls off the false lashes. But I'm going to try to just kind of show you guys. So just like take, squeeze them kind of together. Squeeze down there. So if you look closely, you can see where my false lash only goes in to about here because like I said, this area, I can't handle it. I just, I cannot. So that's it. Focus please. There we go. That's it. You complete me lashes by Velour. You know, I almost think I should have worn a much lighter eye color. So eyeshadow color so that you guys could see the contrast between the lashes and I feel like it, it looks all black. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, also, if you look, you can see how important it is to have a nice solid black line of eyeliner because then the band blends right in with it. And if it doesn't, you can always go back with your eyeliner and, you know, fill in the gaps and make it look like one solid line all the way across. Um, Actually, I have an idea. Hang tight for me just a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I went ahead and took the dark shadow off of my left eye so you guys can actually see the contrast between the false lashes and kind of what's behind it so it doesn't look all black. Um, yeah, so I don't look like a goth princess anymore. There's absolutely nothing wrong with a goth princess. It's just not my style. So um, got the lashes here, the left lashes and I've got the glue on them and I'm just waiting for them to, or waiting for the glue to get tacky. There they are. Okay, so let's do this. So again, take the lash with tweezers. Oh, and you know what? A couple things I did not mention earlier, my apologies. I typically put a really light coat of mascara on my natural lashes. Um, when it comes to the ones like Velour, the ones you're supposed to be able to reuse a whole bunch of times, it's actually better to not put mascara on the lashes themselves so that they last longer. So what I typically do, like I said, is put the uh, coat of mascara on my natural lashes so that they'll blend in with the falsies once you have them on. Sorry, I'm moving around here. Um, that and if it's not obvious already, you want the longest. If your lashes are asymmetrical, you want the longest lashes on the outside and the shortest ones on the inside probably obvious. Just wanted to make sure that was clear though. So the middle is right where I want it. Okay. Go grab the outer corner. Place that down and then go to the inner corner. Grab that and you can <laughs> grab that and then place it where you want it. Try not to get stuck. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, it's not where I want it. There. in and squeeze the natural lashes and the falsies together all the way across and 
Got a random one sticking out there. Okay. And if that happens, by all means, just I have little bitty scissors. Please don't do this at home. Don't try this at home. There you go. All right, so I trimmed that, that edge. All right, and there it is. Your other side is done. And as you can see again, um, you see the importance of having that line, the eyeliner, I hope. <laughs> um, that's really all there is to it. So again, when it comes to false lashes, it takes a lot of practice. On a Saturday afternoon when you have nothing to do and you want to play around with makeup, just put on some eyeshadow, experiment with stuff, and take an hour just to, just to practice putting them on. Um, it's not something that I got immediately and for the longest time I wouldn't even use them because I would just get mad every time and just be like, forget this. But then once you put the glue on, you have to, it messes everything up. So it's like, you, if you're going to do it, you got to do it. You got to commit to it. So, um, again, something that you don't want to do if you're on in a rush to get out the door. Ask my friend Lisa how many times I've texted her, like five minutes after I'm supposed to be at her house. Seriously, these false lashes are really pissing me off and that's why I'm not at your house right now, I'm sorry. Yeah. Not kidding. Anyway, so if you guys have any questions, um, any comments, please leave them below and I really hope this helped you. Um, this is especially for my friend Cricket, who I told I would film this for and any of you guys out there that want to learn how to put on false lashes. So have a great rest of your day and I will be back soon. Bye.